Right, this is uh, The Prisoner. This is the first part of Memory Sequence 3. Anything to do with the film? N no. No? No, I don't think so, no. This is a game called Assassin's Creed. I'm not sure if you... Nothing, nothing to do with the film, then? No, it's nothing to do with the film. Wasn't it a TV series, though? Was it a TV series? A TV I don't. Series. I don't even know. It's a TV series. It wasn't a film. It's before my time. Make, oh, it's oh, before my time. Oh, actually, Sorry. I think they might have remade it into a film. But anyway, you've got to go. And, you've got to rescue this prisoner. Basically, this guy's got to be rescued, and there's a Templar uh, who's oh, got the eagle key. sense. Yeah, he's got the key. So uh, the Templar, you have to get to this roof and locate him using your eagle sense. There he is. There. there it was pretty is. obvious out of the selection of people which one it was. And you was fixated on another one for a long time. Well, that's the whole point of Eagle Sense is that he stands out. Like Eagle Sense is meant to make the person. So, but stand why out. was you looking at the wrong guy? I wasn't looking at the wrong guy. I was sussing out who the right guy was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's your excuse <laughs> now. Like... Look, so look, look, look. You can't go up the stairs because there's a couple of guards in the way. So you can't just go in there. You got to remain, you know, pretty stealthy. So uh, you can maybe have a little look up this wall here, and as you can see, he's probably going to see you, and also some people started seeing me to the right there as well. So, but if you go around the back, there's this little wall that here. you that you can't jump up. Look, that you can't jump. There's this little wall, yeah, and then. There's this little group of people here who are all staring right they at. Know you. They know you. They know you're there. Yeah, right now. When you see that he's out of the way, oh, there's someone just about to spot me, but look, I'm in, and blended in, invisible. It's like I wasn't there. Look at that. Impressive. That was it? close. Yeah. So he almost saw you. So now you've got to pickpocket this guard. So you've got to wait for an opportune moment. You're going to have to get him when he's there. That's probably the only point. Yeah, all right. Well, I waited there for a little while and worked out all his uh, walking flow and stuff, you know, because I wanted to wait for him to get close like that. I was hoping that the option, look, I'm, I was hoping the option to just go ping and just take it there was going to happen, and it didn't happen. So you're all exposed. Yeah. But if he turns around, he's going to get you. No, but like, look, I got it. So that's it. I got the key, and now all you got to do now is get back to the prisoner and let him out. That's all you got to do now. And that's a hundred percent synchronisation. If that's you get into that synchronisation, if you do it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I'd stay in the group because they, they were escape? nice people. They were nice people, and I dropped right in front of a load of guards because that's how I roll. They were Ottomans, though, so they weren't too bad. All oh, right, yeah. I wonder why they all didn't freak out. Well, anyway, freed the guy. You the, guy's the, guy. A, the guy is free to go. Yeah, he is indeed. Get out of jail free card. And, Ezio, uh, get out of jail free. Is that is that could that be his new well, it's, his new tagline? That's what he is about. He is uh, about freeing the city from the evil Templars. 100% synchronization from the oppression of the Templars. Yeah, absolutely.